Uh, but another great night, another head click to the next. It was a, it was a very not not frustrating time, but I was tested a lot in in this camp outside of the fight, you know, with life games and little injuries, and you know, here I am eight months later from my professional debut. They signed me. I'm thinking, okay, let's go for mayor. Like, you know, here I am eight months later for a six second fight. You know. I'm blessed to be a part of this organization. I think I'll be the face of the organization in the time. But um, I'm just ready to get back in there once again. Hats off to Alex Potts. A lot of people don't know he's actually wrestling state champion. Uh, he's wrestling since he was 13, 14. He was a striker, good gym that he comes from. This is supposed to be a tough test. This is supposed to be a good fight. Uh, you know, on paper, I was supposed to take some licks. A lot of people counted me out for this fight. Undefeated, he's this, he's submission, he tapped out some good guys. They all think that they're gonna come in here, take me down, beat me up, shoot me, rough me up. Just three kids, never been tested. I get my ass kicked every single day. I get tapped out. I, I, I catch shots. I get hit by big shots. So I'm not coming in here looking how I am because I'm taking it easy. I'm pushing myself. I'm trying to be better, one percent better every single day, and it shows. Six seconds. I think I just tied the, the record. I shouldn't have touched gloves. That would beat the record, but whatever. Now here I am. I went from, you know, Mike Kimball from the two and three, and now I got one, two, three, four, five. It's amazing. I told you in the interview, I said I'm going to be the biggest thing to come out of my city. I, I feel I'm going to be the biggest thing in this sport in due time, one by one. I just was talking, but um, I said, 
they're on the show, you know, they go do your thing, but I look forward to watching. I be watching my face in the audience when I was playing. I was scraping the team. Oh, you guys talk. Obviously, it's Conor McGregor, and like I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a fan of anybody who's in the same sport, but um, it's definitely not me that nobody know. And I don't want to be that guy, you know, so I just like, like he posts something funny, lol, you know, my man. It's a little short, simple shit. Nothing you know, too crazy because um, he's Conor McGregor, but I'm like, can we talk about her? How do you avoid now getting knockout hungry or head hungry? Because now it's been two fights, two ESPN highlight finishes. We've seen some fighters develop bad habits where we try to go, to go for a knockout right away or go for a slam. Going forward, what's the plan so that you don't become that kind of fighter where you become less of a, less of a mixed martial arts, more of just a wild swinger? Well, if you, if you watch me or pay attention to me, I've done just that. I was a big knockout puncher. Now I'm becoming a tough man, aggressive, precision, dangerous assassin in here. And I'm only going to get better because this fight just happened. I'm not really thinking about it. I'm thinking about how I'm going to improve and camp already for the next one. Everybody was talking about the Jeff and then the, the slam, the slam, the slam. And I'm like, just stop talking about it. I got Alex Potts to worry about. Why are you guys talking about Jeff and then? Um, so I don't dwell. I don't sit there and admire my own work. It happened. I did it. On to the next. Because I'm not here to look cool and be pretty. I'm here because I love the sport. You know, I'm here to catch W's, catch checks, and go on to get ready to grab straps. So that's what I'm here for. Uh, to answer your question, though, get back in the gym, wrestle my ass off, jujitsu rounds on jujitsu rounds, pull my instructors out on my own, my one on ones, grasp what they're teaching, apply it. If it doesn't work for me, just take it with a grain of salt, throw it away. I'm not, I go in there every time to be me and be free. If the shot's there, the shot's there. If it's not there, it's not there. If my boxing doesn't get up, my kickboxing doesn't get up. My kickboxing isn't working. My Muay Thai is not working. And now I'm going to go for my wrestling. If my wrestling doesn't work, I'm going to go for my jiu-jitsu. That doesn't work. Well, bite down in my mouthpiece, stick it out, see what the judges said. Last one, guys. Mikey, I know that in the last fight you were on the main card. This time around you weren't. You feel like next time you deserve that you should be on the main card? I was at on least? the preliminary card. They just used my fight and blew it up. You know, it makes me look good. Things I'm good. Um, do I feel like I deserve it? You know, like I said, I'm 2 and 0 as a, as a professional now. And I don't want to sound cocky, but when I come to fight, everything stops. Who's, who's performing like me? Look like me. I mean, they do what I do. 
not anybody that's really you know in the, in the game on the roster. So give me a little more money on their part, but I, yeah, I think I should be on the main part. I'm the main part. Every time I step into that cage, it's my cage until I leave. So, but that's up to them. I, I don't know what the world is. And I'm just here to do what I do. I'm not here to be involved in politics or this or this or that. Or that. I leave all that to the best man in the agency in the business paradigm. That's what I'm saying. I just go to the gym, show up when it's time to show up, show out, and go home. Thanks, guys.